Greetings to all. In the previous few videos, we discussed about Anofano and Afon coding, and we have seen a few problems. In this topic, let's see about channel capacity theorem. So, why, what is channel capacity theorem, or what is needed uh, for it? The Noisy channel coding theorem establishes that for any degree of noise contaminations of a communication channel. It is possible to communicate discrete data nearly error free up to a computable maximum rate through a channel. Okay. So indirectly we say that to some extent, like you know, we will be able to transmit the data without any error. Okay. So that we will be discussing. Let's see the definition for it. Okay. So the Shannon's theorem states that given an IC channel with channel capacity C and the information transmission rate R if then if R is less than or equal to C okay if the transmission rate is less than uh, channel capacity there exists course that allows the probability of error at the receiver to be arbitrarily small that is is almost zero this means the theoretical it is possible to transmit information nearly without error at the rate below a limiting range. That is what we are trying to say is if we are transmitting the data at the rate R where R is less than or equal to C which is the channel capacity the error okay, is arbitrarily small that is we will be able to receive the signal perfectly in the receiver. This is what Shannon's channel capacity says. That is the capacity of the channel, the, the transmission rate should be always lower than the uh, capacity of the, the channel capacity. Okay, this is the meaning. Uh, the converse is also very, very important. That is, if R is greater than C, okay, if R is greater than C, any arbitrarily small probability of error is not achievable. That is, if the transmission rate is greater than C, the probability of error can be higher. That is, uh, pro low probability for cannot be achieved. Okay, all codes will have the probability of error greater than the uh, positive minimum level, and this level increases as the rate increases. So the information cannot be guaranteed to be transmitted reliably across the channel. So when R is greater than C, like you know, there's no reliability that information is transmitted is received without any error. Okay, so this is actually called Shannon's channel capacity theorem. Okay, so in general, this uh, Shannon's uh, channel capacity describes maximum possible efficiency of error correction methods versus the level of noise interference and data corruption. Now we shall discuss about Shannon Hartley theorem. Okay, so when Shannon's theorem of channel capacity is applied specifically to the channel which the noise is a Gaussian, then it is known as Shannon Sartley theorem. Okay, it's also called as information capacity theorem. Okay, so here it talks about it is a Shannon Hartley theorem tells that the maximum rate at which the information can be transmitted over a communication channel of a specific bandwidth in the presence of noise. So what is the maximum bandwidth, okay, or what is the maximum rate in which the information can be transmitted, okay, this is what we know, uh, we will discuss in this uh, Shannon Hartley theorem, okay. So uh, the easy definition is, you know, the channel capacity of a weight band limited Gaussian, okay, C is given by B log to the base to 1 plus S by N, okay. Maybe uh, we have several definitions. Here, let me read this definition. The Shannon Hartley theorem states the channel capacity C, meaning that the theoretical uh, tightest upper bound of the information rate of data that can be communicated uh, communicated at an arbitrary lower error using the average received signal power through an analog uh, communication channel subject to RET with Gaussian uh, noise of power F. Okay, that is C is equal to b log to the base to 1 plus s by n where c is the capacity of the uh, channel the cell capacity 
in this second b is the bandwidth of the channel heads and s is the average uh, received signal power over the bandwidth and n is the average power of the noise and interference over the bandwidth and s by n is the signal to noise ratio okay so so when there is no noise in the channel okay uh, for example let's say there is if there is no noise in the channel that is n is equal to 0 such uh, so in that case s by n will become infinity okay such case is cast noiseless channel okay so when there is no noise we will substitute the value of n equal to 0 and this s by n will become infinity therefore we call so when n equal to 0 we call this channel to be a noiseless channel okay other point that we can say is okay the c from the uh, equations that we can say okay the channel capacity okay uh, depends upon the bandwidth and signal to noise ratio so this uh, uh, capacity of channel or uh, channel capacity depends upon two factors one is the bandwidth b and also the signal to noise ratio thank you